Welcome to the Flagon Brothers video game. This is a game of chance. What? No, it's not. It's not? No. Then what is it? Well, they're, they're gonna have to play and find out. <gasps> Can we play too? We always do. <laughs> Floygan Bros Episode 1 was developed by Visual Concepts and released for the Sega Dreamcast in 2001. It's an unusual game about two brothers that is clearly influenced by the Saturday morning cartoons of the era, and while it might be fun for younger players, most gamers will be left scratching their heads. Heugel and Moigel Floygan own and operate their own junkyard. As the player, you control Heugel, the smaller but smarter of the two brothers. However, you'll need to work with and instruct the simple-minded Moigel in order to perform tasks and overcome puzzles within the game. As for the plot of Floygen Bros, Moigel has been working on a secret project and needs seven more parts to complete his contraption, and it's the search for these parts that forms the basis of the entire game's story. There's also a villain named Baron Melodorus hovering above the junkyard in a blimp, who plans to use a troop of mercenary cats to infiltrate and take over the junkyard for his own nefarious needs. Remember the plan. Soften them up when they're all all and Gucci Gucci Goo. Call up and I'll send down the troops. <laughs> However, you're given no real backstory as to who Baron Melodorus is any prior history he may or may not have with the Floygen Bros, or what he actually wants the junkyard for. <laughs> Once they're overrun with cats, they'll have to leave, and the junkyard will be mine. It's kind of surprising that a game that's trying to emulate the feel of a kid's cartoon really drops the ball in the plot department with this half-baked premise. And then there's the actual gameplay in Floygen Bros. Before playing, I tried my best to make sense of the game's instruction manual, but it seemed like every second word was either Moigel or Heugel. To avoid getting a headache, I jumped into the game's tutorial mode instead, but even this backfired on me. Uh, let me check the manual. To get the chocolate, Heugel should get Moigel. That would be me. To stand on the dizzy pad, then Heugel should run around Moigel. If Heugel rhymes fast enough, Moigel will get dizzy and faint. Then Heugel can bounce on his belly like a trampoline to get to high places. Simple. <laughs> People do it all the time. The gameplay essentially boils down to a series of random minigames and puzzles that must be tackled in order to track down the pieces of junk that Moigel needs for his invention. As Heugel, you'll run around the level finding different items that can be interacted with and making use of Moigel's abilities as needed. For example, to obtain one of the pieces of junk, you'll need to upset Moigel so that his tears raise the water level of a stream. Then you'll need to make Moigel angry enough so that he hurls you up to a platform where you can retrieve a key for a gate that leads to a garden. Once in the garden, you'll need to scare off crows as Moigel plants some seeds. But before anything can grow properly, you'll need to flip a switch to open a gate that leads to a water pump that requires some annoying platforming and lever pulling to get running. Only then will the planted flowers burst into bloom, releasing a piece of the junk Moigel needs from inside the largest plant. And then there's other pieces of the invention that can be gotten by simply defeating one of the mercenary cats by hurling his own bombs back at him until you've relieved him of all of his nine lives. It's completely random, and the need to emotionally manipulate your dim-witted brother in order to get him to comply with certain tasks does feel genuinely uncomfortable as you'll be hugging him one minute and hurling insults at him the next. You're a goon, Michael. You're gonna make me sad. You'll also have to play games with Moigel from time to time, like high fives and tag in order to earn points that can be used to teach Moigel more games and skills. It all feels very bizarre, and while it's definitely a game, I'm not sure it's actually fun or satisfying to play. Floygen Bros Episode 1 will only take you about 3 hours to muddle your way through, by which time you'll have grown tired of the games of high five and the repeated lines of dialogue. Give me skin! Gotcha. Thankfully, there's a pretty neat jazz soundtrack playing throughout the game to help things along. Still, I can't help but think that I would have felt cheated had I paid full price for this game back in 2001. And the fact that Floygen Bros Episode 2 is not a thing speaks volumes. I'll get you yet, you... 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 Floygens! Thanks so much for watching, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll be back again soon with another video from the Random Game Room.